Hi everybody, this is Christine Barnett at the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center here with my friend Lola Bunny to talk a little bit about Eastern Cottontail Rabbits. It's springtime and it's the time of year when everybody wants to get outside and start mowing their lawns and doing some yard work in the garden. And before you start doing those things, you're gonna to wanna to check your yard for bunny nests. Now, to find a bunny nest, what you wanna do is walk back and forth in a grid-like pattern. And you're looking for areas of depressions out in the middle of the grass, maybe an area where it looks like there's some uh, dead grass that's been pulled up, or maybe an area where you see a little bit of fur or fluff. That could be an indication that there's a baby bunny nest there. If you do find a nest of baby bunnies, what you wanna do is avoid that area. The bunnies are only in that nest for about 21 days. So they'll uh, eventually get big enough that they can leave the nest. Now, even though we say nest, Eastern cottontail rabbits don't hatch out of eggs, of course, they're mammals, uh, but they are born completely furless with their eyes closed and their ears down against their head. So it takes a little while for these guys to be big enough to be out and running around the yard. Now, in the meantime, people are always going, where's mom, where's mom? I haven't seen the mom bunny anywhere. Well, mom only comes to the nest twice a day. She'll come to the nest really, really early in the morning and feed all of those babies. And then she'll come back again in the evening just before sun goes down to take care of those baby bunnies as well. So if you find a nest of bunnies and you don't see mom all day, that's actually a really good thing. See how big Lola is? She's a little bit bigger than a wild um, Eastern cottontail would be, but having that big rabbit out in the yard could attract predators. So in order to keep her nest hidden from predators, she'll actually leave those babies alone all day long. And it's not unusual for a Eastern cottontail rabbit to put that nest right in the middle of your backyard. So it could be right there in the middle of the yard, um, right where you walk past it every day. Now, if you have dogs at home, what you're gonna wanna do once you find that there is a nest of cottontails in your yard, you're gonna wanna make sure that you either take your dog out on a leash. Right now, with everybody being home, that's probably your easiest option. Your other option is to take something like a laundry basket put it over top of that nest with something heavy on it so the dogs can't get underneath there, and make sure that you remove that uh, basket before it starts to get dark out. That way mom can have access to her babies in the morning before you take your dog out, and then again in the evening um, when it's time for her to come in and feed those baby bunnies. If you do find baby bunnies in a nest, the best thing to do is leave them there. Always leave them there. Um, however, if you do have an animal that gets a hold of a baby bunny, um, whether it's your dog or your cat, if that baby bunny's injured, you wanna make sure that you find a rehabber to get that baby too. Now, baby bunnies do 110% better left with mom. So if that bunny is uninjured, if it's just by itself in the nest or with a couple of other bunnies in the nest, leave it there. It only needs to go to a rehabber if the animal is injured. And make sure that you always call that rehabber first before you bring the bunny in. Otherwise, if you know where that baby bunny nest is, wait a couple of weeks and watch for those little baby bunnies to start hopping around because they're super cute.